Hi, my name is Olivia Morris and I play Rachel for the head and I'm Catherine O'Donnelly and I play Maggie and you will be able to see our show really soon on Channel Plus and please find this in an interview on Luby and City. <laughs> This is Olivia Morris, and she plays Rachel, who is, uh, we discover, is Arthur Wilde's daughter. And she's uh, an incredible marine biologist, a very skilled free diver, and yeah, she's a, yeah, she's a really fierce force and a great new addition to the series for sure. Okay, this is Catherine O'Donnelly. She plays Maggie, or who we know by the end of season one is better known actually as Olivia. And she is the mastermind of the horrific murders that happened in Polaris. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> And all due to the fact of the awful experience that happened between our and our mother. And she is the Avenger of death <laughs> that follows up and around and works at the end of the year. my perspective as well like uh, season one is a very well made plan for Maggie it's very um, very precise and it and it goes almost exactly how she would like it to go um, season two it kind of falls apart and uh, Arthur perhaps gets a second chance and so therefore she she has to respond to that in a way that is uh, definitely outside of her comfort zone she's maybe not the one in control anymore. Uh, there's some risk to her, so that she's in a vulnerable position, which brings out a kind of fierce, reactive side to her, which I think is very different to season one. Um, uh, plus, as well, she's no longer an imposter. So, yeah, from my perspective, the story that that's kind of how the story sits. I guess also you can expect a whole new cast because obviously mm. we lose all the cast from season one. So an amazing whole new international cast from I mean we've got from France, Japan, we've got lots of Swede actors, actors, which are all just all phenomenal. And you can expect the same sort of tension, the same sort of stakes, still the through line of the scientific research being the most important after trying to finish what he started, Maggie trying to finish what she, finish what she started, and all these other characters just trying to survive. Yeah. It was in Tenerife, yeah, so we were on a real cargo ship, absolutely massive, for about four weeks of filming. And it was it was amazing, it was unlike anything I could ever imagine, being able to turn up on set and location be, you know, so authentic, so real, like it's loud, it's hot, like you would touch the walls and get like covered in oil. It was it was really amazing at lending itself to being kind of a character to the show, you know, or at least the environment being just as just as brutal as season one was. So season one, middle of the Antarctic. And um, being in the middle of the ocean again, it's that sort of isolation and brutal environment that really adds to the thrill of the show, I think. Yeah, definitely. I, I agree with all of that. <laughs> I mean, it was wonderful just getting the opportunity to work with actors from all over. Actors have different approaches to work, and you know, working as I mean, we had three Swedish actors, and I thought they were so calm on the set, and the energy was so relaxed and very like pragmatic. Whereas with um, Hovik, uh, I mean, I worked with him a couple of times while doing in with scenes, and his energy is so like larger than life and very like strong presence, and so. Walking on set and having such different approaches to the work is the most refreshing thing. I've mainly worked with Brits, so to come in and have that was just a huge treat. It meant there was way more freedom in your own work. It feels really healthy to have that mix of energy, yeah. and I think it also like sparks new kinds of creativity because uh, it's something new to respond to, not just through characters, but through yeah, through the energy that you're all working with. Plus, it's just such a treat to work with such amazing like. I like. I already really admired like Thierry Goddard, and so just like the opportunity to meet these international faces, where there's not many shows where you would get to work with, say, a French actor you really admire because of language, and so, yeah. So it's it's really special. We're very lucky, and I, and I think it elevates the show. Yeah, I mean. At first, it was quite strange because I think I think me and John were like we were having such serious deja vu, especially like being back in Tenerife to film, and, 
uh, but then to be the only ones there, like we were like, where is everybody? But the new cast is just like, like as we were saying, so exceptional and so kind and loving, and uh, it really fell into place. And I, I think it, um, I, I, yeah, I mean, I, I, I almost see them as very two different stories, two different. It's, yeah, I can't. I, I'm not articulating very well, but it, it, it really feels like a strong group, and. Um, I think I sort of touched on it before, but yeah, coming back with Maggie, it, is, it feels very different. And, and, and maybe in some ways that's right to have like a whole new cast, because I also feel like I'm working with a whole new character. And I think, um, I don't want to speak for John, but I feel like he, he feels that too, because um, the experience of what happens in season one changed, changed us. So uh, it, felt, it felt right almost to have a whole new environment, a whole new cast. Oh, well, when, I just think spoilers. I, I think out of that, you have to watch the show and see how that plays out. I think one thing we can say is there is a nice parallel in that they are both daughters of a situation. So, like, there's Arthur, there's uh, Maggie's mom, and we discover that connection and that event in season one, and we are both connected to that. So there's a parallel dynamic there. Mm -hmm.